Hi, everybody. I'm Craig Shoemaker. You know that already because you downloaded this show. I appreciate you doing so. And I will tell you, today's guest, we share way too much in common. If you're looking on the screen right now, you don't see what I'm talking about. Is It's a female that I have something in common with and way too much. I can already hear the abandonment. I have that. <laughs> my dad left when I was born. Something I said, wah, it's gone. I still can't take it when a waiter leaves my table. I go, where are you going? I'm getting your food, sir. Oh, sure you are. He's not coming back. They're all the same. This is how I am, but I think I met my mirror. <laughs> Our guest today, no credits, no accolades. Jessica Winther is with us. Hello, Jessica. <laughs> you can talk now, by the way. I tell them all, I don't want to talk to you. This is what happens. I, I say, I don't want to talk to you because I want to save it for the air. But they all come in yapping away. Every single, All the comedians, by the way, you're not the only one. They all come, you know, we, we haven't seen each minute. other. What? I have no accolades, so I'm not even a comedian. <laughs> just so we're clear. Oh, I've done no. nothing in my I love how you introduced me. What? I didn't want to give the accolades. I, I, I didn't look you up or anything. It's just, it's <laughs> just a that. natural a natural thing. We had a fun phone conversation the other day. You were uh, you were in New Orleans. You were at, uh, doing the Mardi Gras thing. Those are my accolades. That's <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she came. She's here from Mardi Gras, Woo! where she did not show any breasts and or get a bead for it. No, I got beads. You did get the beads, but you didn't show anything. I got beads with breasts connected to the beads. Oh, good lord! <laughs> yes. She says to me, she says, "You don't want to see these fifty-year-old tits." I go, "Yes, I do." <laughs> I'm telling you, actually, after I said that, I realized that, what? Yeah, that I could be to you. No, no, that you would. <laughs> that I would. <laughs> that I would like that. Like I was like, "Oh, actually, they're not so bad. Like they're pretty good still." Yeah, but let's not talk about that unless it's going to happen. Are we going to so, get kicked out? No, I, we're <laughs> going to get kicked, kicked, kicked out, out of my own <laughs> show on a podcast. We're going to get Joe Rogan. That's what they call it. They'll call it Joe Rogan. That's I, great. You might make a ton of money. Someone's going to give you an offer, right? We really have great podcasts. I'm, hey. I'm not kidding you. These have been flowing in, until today. No, <laughs> but, but we're already we're already off and running. Uh, we took a photo ahead of time. We usually take it afterwards. But uh, it was like we took something afterwards. Your, your face was very red. And I said, how did that happen? You said, it's my age. I don't understand. How did I... Last time I saw you, you were only a few months younger. <laughs> you didn't have a red face. It must have been you must have been in the sun or I've something. I've been in the sun. I have been. I've been in the sun. I sit outside in the mornings, and uh, you do. Yeah, but how normally... does your day start? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. You mean at five a.m. Yeah, when I wake up with the roosters. You too. Yeah, you, I wake up really? pretty early. Yeah, yeah, it happens. It's I like, it's like a forty forty two thing. Right after that. Yeah, I wake up. Although today I rolled out of bed at 7.30. I still look forward to 4.20, smoke pot, back in the old days. Oh. Now 4.20 is when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> That's, I never... An all-nighter for me is actually if I don't have to get up to pee. Do you, oh, I don't have that. Well, it's... It, I don't... Like, you don't really? have You don't have, like, the, the man thing. No. We have a different situation. We have to take Saul, Saul Palmetto or some crap like that. Is that true? Yeah, we do. That's the We just the have to get thing. surgery. We just have to get rejuvenation, and that stops us from the pain. My God, that word rejuvenation. I have... <laughs> I teach I teach laughter and they are in laughter. It's an acronym. It, 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 acronym. It used to be rejuvenation, and all the women went eh because it means oh. vaginal rejuvenation yeah. to them. Yeah, they don't like the word moist. They don't like the word. who are these women? <laughs> I invited the right woman. You, I could talk. Like I, I noticed moist. the other day when we had our long chat. I could say anything to you already. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you do have that way about you. But you're not from you're not from California, right? I'm not from California. But you're not from the East Coast. You got an East Coast vibe, though. Oh, baby, let me tell you. People try to convince me after <laughs> I tell them I'm from Vegas. They're like, no, no, no. You're from New York. You're from Jersey. You're from Boston. I'm like, no. And it's usually people from those cities. And I'm like, yeah. no, no. I'm from. I grew up in Vegas. I was born in Montreal, Canada. Just well, that's very East Coastish. Yeah, but I. That's my favorite city. By the way, right? The best, right? Culture, beauty, everything. everything. Yes. If I, uh, I, and plus French, that's a better language. Oh, parlez-vous français? Ah, oui, uh, oui, je parle plus français. Uh, J'ai tout dit. Uh, okay. Uh, 12 années, <laughs> il y a 30 ans. They call secondaire. Oui, oui. Do you know anything I'm saying? Is that okay? <laughs> no. Here's the mistake I made. I go to Montreal. I'm all excited. I speak a little French. 
un peu français, and I turned the cold water on, the sea, and I didn't realize it meant showed for hot. hot. So yeah. I burnt myself on the first day. That's okay. I don't speak French. Um, oh, my God. Uh, Here, I thought I was impressing you. I, know, I thought it was going to be voulez-vous coucher yeah, avec moi ce soir. I was going to bust that out. I was going to. Damn it. Were you playing me? Yeah. You don't yeah. speak French and you're from Montreal? Okay, for I was born in Montreal. Oh, so you weren't and like picking things up when you were in the in the crib. No, I would sign this is gonna make me sound so bougie because I'm not bougie. I, Don't you give me I'm not bougie when you're about no. to tell me bougie. You can't do that. I you, would summer in Montreal. <laughs> it's just the word summer. I was summering. By the way, you could have chosen another phrase like we I do like on it. East Coast. I like we it. would never use the word I summered. What would you as, say? As, as if it's a, a verb. <laughs> Summer is a season, oh, not a verb. Well, you sum. No, it is kind of because you're going for a short time. You go in, you go out. Yeah, it's just you're moving through. No, I went to. I vacationed in. These are all the acceptable phrases. Not I summered. Well, where did I, you summer? I w- summered in the Laurentians of, Mon- of Montreal, and still didn't pick up any French. There's no. tons of it there. Well, my father's a Canadian Jew. Okay, what does not that mean? French. Although he spoke like seven languages. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that yes. But hold on. What does it mean? He's he's a Jew in Montreal. No, what does that mean? He, like that he if spoke you're English Jewish, first. you can't speak any no, no. French. Well, they really, like if you do, it has to have a lot of phlegm a in lot it. Of them Bar like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but, <laughs> <laughs> kind of complaining. <laughs> a lot of no, it's it's just the Jewish community. There, a lot of them didn't speak French. That's what. That's where I was. Oh, going. They didn't speak I see. A very big Jewish Yiddish, community. Yeah. in uh, in there. Yeah, and a lot of did, them did. Do you the speak youngest. any Yiddish? No, I don't speak any Yiddish. What is wrong with you? That, that, I was raised by wolves. In Vegas. In Vegas, <laughs> in Vegas yeah. Vegas that is a whole Montreal. Other world. That's yeah. a whole other world, Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you summered in Montreal. I summered in Good Montreal. Good Lord, I can't even believe you would actually bring that to the Philadelphian here. We would never <laughs> use that term. I don't know why I use it. it. Because I guess when we when I was there in the summer, that's what it felt like. It was parties. You were outside. It felt like mm-hmm. you were summering. It was a holiday. Yeah, we summered. We summered yeah. with a summer job. Listen, I That's what we did. Up, we okay? cut lawns. I, I cut lawns. You did not. In Vegas. Well, yeah. <laughs> There's no lawns, folks. There's no lawns in Vegas anywhere. No, no, no. There was in the 70s. One. <laughs> One lawn. My yard. Mine. Your yard. And Liberace. Did you really have lawns there? Yes. There's no lawns. They're, they're fake lawns. Okay. How can you grow it on sand? No, no, no. Remember when Vegas, in the 60s and 70s, they actually had golf courses connected to the hotel. They still do, but not like... That's true. They yes. had and the and your yards had and I played lawns. the Desert Inn had one. Yes, yes that's true. The fl- I think it was the Flamingo. The but you King. weren't cutting. Th- those are called <laughs> greenskeepers. Okay, okay, listen. Those are called point- greenskeepers. <laughs> those are not. That's not a summer job cutting lawns like Mrs. Wittis I had for five dollars. I go on a big big. Rectangle. I love this. So, I love I love doing podcasts with comedians who are always like, come on, it's not real. <laughs> come, come on. Come on, give me something. We're, because we're truth tellers. We're here to I call know. you on your on your I summered. Well, that was a summer. Okay. It was a fr- I was frolicking around the Laurentians. That I will take. I will take frolicking with you not cutting a lawn. I cannot <laughs> imagine that. No, no, but I, I, I worked I've worked my entire life. So in when you, Vegas when you worked, did you use Yiddish at least at work? I <laughs> face me. It's, oh, it's hot as hell out of here. Uh the Michigas I gotta deal with. Ugh. Ugh. I can because uh, <laughs> uh, unbelievable. <laughs> Running around. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. That's what you just you just summered you doing Yiddish no. while you were frolicking. There's, a, there's, a, there's. A, this is gonna go nowhere. There's so many layers. Oh, to I'll tell story. you where it's gonna go. I'm the host of the damn show. It's going somewhere, no. baby. It's gonna go there's somewhere. So many layers to this. Yes. I can't. Like it's just. You can't is... even unpack one layer for me. <laughs> no. I want you to unpack. That's what we do here. Let's we just unpack keep the until Louis you are Vuitton. out of. You are out of shit. You've got nothing left, but maybe some aftershave. And why would I have aftershave? I don't know. Because that's what I, I would have left. I, have, I would have left. But yes, with your deep voice, you might have aftershave. <laughs> that's I, a. That's, I might. I might. That, that's some. That's some. Uh, Fran might. Drescher is laughing at you. By <laughs> the way, that's why I was Fran late. Fran Drescher thinks you. That's why I was late. I was shaving. <laughs> I was a little late because I was just getting the, the, the little side burns in my. Uh, Listen, that, the, we're the opposite. I grew up with all females. I can change my clothes at a stoplight. I love that. Oh yes. The cop I mean, pulls me over. I love that Please don't give me a ticket about my bad, bad week. I'm bloated. I love that you're like, I can change what your shorts and your shirt. 
It's not like you're men are up. It's not like you're running around in like a suit coat and you've got your oh, we're hair not. up. And men wear suits sometimes. Not not this man. Uh, no, but you are dressed nice today. Well, I, I dressed I dress different for every show. Yeah. In my Taylor Bird, please give me money, Taylor Bird. My Taylor oh, Bird oh, clothes. Yeah. Usually I have alma mater shoes, but these are uh, from my Puma sponsorship. Oh, this, you're sponsored by Puma? All these clothes. Everything I have on oh. me. Reactor watch, best watches around. Unbelievable. Oh, who yes. do I want to be sponsored by? Who? I better just get it out there now. Well, you're sponsored by, ah, look at this. This is what oh. you're going to get later. Oh. Highest vitamins. Do you like vitamins? Do you take vitamins? I do take vitamins. Okay, these will cure your red <laughs> face. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to take down Somebody the tent. Somebody help me. It's gonna, I, it looked like you slept in a reactor when you got here. I know. You know what? I thought she's I either embarrassed it. from being here or she, yeah. Oh, I know why. Why? I had the heat on in my car to try to it dry my It's actually starting hair. to come down now. Yeah, it's calming down. It's calming I down. I had the heat on in my car. This to, is going to make people go to my YouTube channel, by the way. They want to see what you look like. Oh, uh, well, then they'll have to go to my Google because I don't always look like this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this highest vitamins. These will help oh, because they're very much highest. anti-inflammatory, sure and that highest? face is inflamed. <laughs> That's terrible. I I'm came, awful to my guests. It's I, terrible. I came to get this support from but, highest listen, molecular hydrogen. You're going to get a bottle of this okay. highest H Y E S T. And if you don't have to do this because you get a free one, but if you want to get more, you go to highestvitamins.com. Promo code Laughter Heals. That's our organization, nonprofit. You get a twenty percent discount, and then fifteen percent goes back. So you're gift, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Plus, you feel better because these are great vitamins. How are they working for you? Look at me. Uh, you know I am what? 83 yeah. years old. Please tell me. And I've been on these things for Amazing. two weeks. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, they're great they're, vitamins. Here, these are yours. Oh, these are a gift. Are Just make used? sure I give them to you. Like, are you giving me no, use? No, it's, oh my God, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm from Vegas. I'm having a problem with women these days. I really am. Why? I, I, you know that men, that book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Vegas? You know that one? <laughs> <laughs> you know that one? By the way, women I, that are from Vegas, I believe that it book, now. that I, book is real. That I, book is the book. The you Venus, are, whatever, well, but the Vegas. Well, Venus is different. Yeah. Women are just different, but yeah, specifically Vegas. But really, I'm having a rough time lately communicating with women. There really is this, this, this blockade that's up there i just want to check if it's lately like i just is that real that it's lately <laughs> lately even that comes from a woman no yeah. guy would go you sure it's lately <laughs> totally. you sure it's lately no you, you're probably right no i've noticed it lately no I've no guy it. would do that because they would actually do a lot of the introspective work to even know that you said or hear lately. they don't do that in, no we no. don't do the internal work no. we just say the stuff that's right right there everything's about conquest i'm with yeah. my married friends we have nothing to talk about what are we gonna say guess what I nailed my wife again last night. Or, well, that's three times this month. She's a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> no, and we have nothing no, to talk about. They're not. She's a hoe. They're like, really? You're getting some? Exactly. I haven't had any in six months, and it was my birthday. I was vulnerable with my friend the other day on the way to golf. Okay. And I asked him, how many times you know, do you have sex? He says, about you know, twice, three times a month. And I'm like having this discussion. What does he do? He brings it up to the other the other guys that we're golfing with, you know. Because you made him insecure, so he had to compare to see if he was okay. Yes. So he yes. had to check in with the whole group, right? It was more about he's ripping on me for doing this. It's no, no, guys no. don't like when you're vulnerable. I was being vulnerable. I'm going, what's going on here? You know? He wasn't ripping on you. He wasn't? No, you made him think, oh, shit, it's <laughs> only two to three times a oh, month. Oh, no, I did not. It was, that was a hero to me. I, would, I, I begged to have two or three times a month. Okay, but she's in menopause, which basically put means means put men yeah, on pause. Yeah, yeah, that's what it right. that's what it means. And right. add some other factors. Right. Whew. I just want you to know I'm in perimenopause and oh, there's geez. nothing on pause. Really? Yeah. That's amazing. I was I was walking with my friend who's a comedian. I won't say who it is. I said, You look fantastic. You know, we hiked together. Yeah. And I said she goes, Yeah, I lost twenty pounds. I have pep in my step. I am in perimenopause. 
but I took these pellets. They're like, I had these, you know, these, about <laughs> know these pellets. You do? <laughs> yes. You do? Don't, don't say, I say first ne- initial. No, I'm not. First initial, that's no, all. No, I'm not giving it out. It's, it's a common initial. I, I can't. I want to know. No. All right, draw it in the air. <laughs> okay. She used to be blonde and now she's a Oh, brunette. there Yay. we go. That's an even bigger clue, by the way. You just ratted her out way worse than the, no. than the using her first letter. That could be me. I used so, to be a brunette. Now I'm a blonde. Well, this is, this is great. So you know who I'm talking yes. about. Then she says. I took these pellets, like these bio tea or something like that, these hormones, yeah. all natural. Yeah. And she says, I am so horny now. <laughs> and I said, and she says, I had to stop at the bathroom at a gas station to masturbate. Good for her. <laughs> so I'm going, give me the number. Why would she go to the bathroom? I, Just I, do it in the car. I go, give me the number. I, so, so she gave me the number and I got the pellets. Did they work? I got, so, so here's what happened. I got the pellets. They're, they're like, a, a, they do an incision. And they're time release. So at first, nothing. And then I'm, and by the way, I had my wife do it too. Hold on, you're courageous that you actually, it's an incision. And you're like, oh yeah, you know what? I want an increased sex drive. Just cut my hey, leg hey, open. Jessica, let me tell you something. It's much better than up. Everybody else thinks it means up your rear end. That for men is a no no. Incision oh, we can take. Oh, you can. It's, just yeah, it's like rib. Rocky. Yeah. Cut me, Mick. Cut me, Mick. Put a pedal oh, pellet in my pellets in my ass. Jesus <laughs> that we're okay Christ. with. As long as it leads to that. Guys will do anything if it leads to that. So and so I wanted to do it at the same time she did, you know, we both did. Right. Nothing. Nothing happened. Still the other room, the whole deal. Then I'm in Philadelphia and I just seen her, you know, with the kids. We had a vacation. We were summering at the Jersey Shore. <laughs> oh, see? How was that summering? Oh, I did not mean that. No. That was I a callback to rip on I you somewhere. I know. And look at me just go right past it. <laughs> so so, so, so funny. She calls me and she goes, lose 20 pounds and I'll, and I'll bang you right now. I'm going, what the hell? I'm on the, I'm on the airline, like literally doing sit-ups. I mean. I'm doing sit-ups. I'm not eating. I'm, I'm, she gave turn. you 12 hours? Uh, yeah, Ten she hours, goes, eight hours, right, four hours. Whatever it is. So I'm, I'm like trying. I might have lost one pound. So I said to her, look, just focus right here. Just my face. Just look at my face. It's not so bad. Oh, I am. I'm on the plane. They're going, sir, put your mask on. I, go, I can't breathe while I'm hyperventilating, while I'm working out for the first time since January 1st, 2nd. So anyway, so, so yeah, it happened. And then it happened so much. That you I, lost 20 pounds. No, no, that's exactly right. I said, this is a workout. It was so much like she'd sneak in and da da. So nice. You know, and, so, and then yeah. I needed a rape whistle. <laughs> so everybody I tell that story to, every guy I'd go, you, you go, give me that number. That's all they hear. They go, give me that really? number. Give me that number. For the wife or for them? Both. Oh, for the wife. They want yeah. the wife. Yeah. But by the way, then it got cut off again. Whew, done. Because it's, it's, I guess the pellets moments. must have ran out. No, it was like weeks. It was lasted like three weeks. Oh, this is that's a moment in life. No, but, okay, no, hello. No, no. These are moments. We want, well, we want a bigger moment. Oh, really? Okay, yes, we do. Three weeks. Yeah. Now what? Now nothing yeah. for months. It's a moment in time, darling. No, that's a, not a good. That's no, not okay. That's. But not wait good. a minute. Are the yeah. pills? Wait, okay, so the pills. So the are pellets done. are still there. Oh, they're still there. Now, for me though, they are. Now that's the other thing. I could not believe. I'm being very personal here. I'm that kind of girl. You are. I know. I have to admit. God, trust me. I'm you know exhausted this. from all you men and your personal. Every man I meet is like, I don't know why, but I feel like I can tell you everything. I'm like, stop. It's the oh. Fran Drescher voice. It's, no, it's not. <laughs> it is. No, no. That Once you get down, you're down to our octaves. Then you're we're going, hey, I can hang. She's a dude. She's in her masculine like you're, energy. Dude, you're really good looking. Like you're like off the charts good looking, but the voice takes you down to, it takes you into my territory. Now yeah, we can talk. No. Yeah, I know. It, it's a safe. It's I, a safe zone. <laughs> I'm safe. It, it is. It's unbelievable. Yeah. You, but you know what it is? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this out loud okay. because I, I, I used to study this. There's something called anima and animas. It's a masculine energy and a feminine energy. Right. And when a man is in his feminine energy, which is anima, he could be in that. You're in it right now. I'm in. I, I'm in feminine right now. Yeah. Oh, so that means we you can hang. You got so vulnerable. Because yeah. Because you're very. And on, I'm in my on, masculine. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You even changed your seating position. Yeah. Look. I'm in my uh, masculine. Uh, <laughs> you're ready to have on. a. Uh, oh. You're ready to have a cock look, fight I with just, me. Hold on. I just, just pulled, pulled out. My... I think he just yeah. pulled out her headphones. Oh. I think it's the other side. Oh, is that it? I think so. So. Um, I just got so excited. The, when the man is in was, the anima and the woman is in the anima, you can have a match. When both are in the anima, no match. And same with anima. If I was in my anima and you were in your anima, yeah. no good. It's like, that's not the match for me. I don't want another one of me. 
And that's how it works. Okay, so explain this to me because yeah. I'm getting divorced, right? So, and I was married 22 years. Wow, that's a long one. Oh, he was gone 17. That's why I lasted. Okay. Like, everyone always goes. So how wait did a minute. Last? Are we reversing this? I'm going back to Ani Moss, and back you're to coming Ani back Moss. to me as Ani Ma. Yeah. Because well, you're asking yeah. me for a suggestion or I am, something. Okay. I am. Go ahead. So I was. He was gone most of the time. So I was in. You got to explain the Ani. So I was in very masculine energy, raising my kids, doing the whole. That's a masculine energy. Yeah, actually, when you are taking care of the household. And running, I was running the company, running the kids, running, yeah. and he wasn't there, right? So there's no reprieve. So I'm running as male, female, right? Because Male I'm, and female, right? yes. Like you got to go balance them both. I'm trying to balance them. And you're them. playing both roles anyway, because he's not even there. Right. Now you got to, you, you know, so he, do you actually say, do you actually say, uh, <laughs> check with your father and it's you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, really, I should have. Now It's great when you are a couple like that, because the other one gets to be the bad cop, yeah. but you're both bad and good cop. Well, you're no. resting and releasing at the same time. <laughs> I'm, yeah. He's just what he is. And uh -huh. then I'm bad and good cop. All right. Got so it. I'm the I'm, I'm the one who's mostly with our children. Right? Sure. So he's just dad. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that they're whatever they define that as. We'll have to work it out in therapy. I'll have to talk to your kids now. <laughs> yeah, no. Do you call him just dad? <laughs> just dad. Hey, just dad. But what was interesting and I found this interesting in uh at the at the end of everything was I was noticing your what is it Ami say it again Animan Animas Animan Animas I was noticing that he'd want to have sex and I was like dude I've been working I've been busy oh all you were that guy who was like yes you know what it's like yeah so yeah. he'd work right. which he had like he worked and he worked hard right. don't get me yeah. wrong but I did everything else. So he'd work, and I right. mean, his job was hard. So I guess we were both in, now that you're saying this, right. we were both in masculine energy. So, But I was like, dude, I don't want to have sex with you. Like, wow. yeah, I'm exhausted. Right. I need to go to bed. And you're like, I can't even get it up right now. Yes, that's what I felt like. <laughs> right. I was like, no way. That's the Well, you would do have to get up the libido. By the way, the yeah. pills worked for me, too. I couldn't, right. I couldn't believe the size. I'm not kidding you. It was really weird. The size of the pills? No, my... Okay, really? I, you were like, wow, it gave you a few inches? Yeah. Okay, people, we're, we need to sell this for every guy out there that has a little That should be my dick. sponsor, yeah. the pellet people. <laughs> yes. I have sent some people there. They're very happy. I have to say. But it know, really makes everything like uh, men, thicker and all that kind oh, of okay, stuff. Okay, yeah, men really that have crazy. an issue with that, which yeah. I've been with a few. Yeah. Would really benefit Been from with a this. few? Benef with a few. With How do you feel about that? I don't care. It doesn't you really don't care? No, because... You, do you feel sorry for them? Do you feel bad for them? Do you well, want to slip a Mickey or <laughs> some, slip some Viagra? No, because it's never as small as... You guys have such a weird hang-up with this whole size. And don't say you guys and look at me. <laughs> You were talking about like how excited you were that it was fluffing up and no, I it, no, I wanted to just yeah. explain. It was an odd thing that I didn't. They didn't tell me it was it wasn't on the brochure. It's really weird. I'm just telling you. Gain a, a few I'm just being inches. honest. I don't care who's watching now. No, who's listening? Funny, right. I'm just being honest. I just couldn't believe what I would look down, pull the covers. You were like, I who's sleep on my body. It was just it was just in a different way because you know it goes up and down. Yes. You know, there's a Dartos and Cream Master gland. Did you down. know that? Did you know that? There's a Dartos and Cream Master gland. I'm teaching you all sorts of things I, today. I'm teaching oh our God. public out there. Sex ad people, you That's had no true. idea. The Dartos and Cream Master gland is why men have shrinkage. It's to protect our our testicles. So it shrinks and uh, everything goes in, right? Those fine those well, fine. Well, somehow Cream, cream Master balls. left the building and it just was Dartos. Oh my <laughs> so God. Like, I feel like we're talking about Star Wars. Like a Dartos. <laughs> I am Dartos. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it felt like. I had a lightsaber. It was really strange. Oh, it was like, mm, it, was, it was just there I all the time. About that. Oh, the, yeah, you, well, like let's hear stars. it. No, I, my, my ex sent me uh, a gift in the mail. It gets, I, I know there's certain things I can't say, right? Because I'm not fully divorced yet. And I actually want to make it through this divorce. Okay. Oh, <laughs> before. He sent me yeah. a gift yeah. in the mail and it was a vibrator. <laughs> yeah. What was interesting is, is that my daughter opened the vibrator, the box. She oh. thought she was getting like a bead set or something. No. And she got like beads, but they were rabbit <laughs> beads. But she had said, she's like, look, somebody sent us a pink lightsaber. <laughs> 
I was like, oh my, there's nothing more, more like she was kind of young and I was like, what is going? And I didn't expect it. I freaked out. I was like, what do I, and then, you know, of course, like, what do you say to that? It's, was, a, pro it's a problem Yes, because you know, you don't want the kids. You don't want to advance them that fast. I'm, when my son was, it was now 23, was a toddler. No, even a baby. Yeah. He he got she had this big giant thing, which was usually a massager. That's what it was for. But she used yeah. it. Yeah, but he got on top of this. And, no. Yeah, and it's <laughs> I have one of those. He's riding it like a pony, you know, like outside that with a quarter amazing. outside the department store. Dragging and he, their there door. he was. Yeah. And and I turned to her and I go, if he only knew <laughs> if he only knew what oh my God. He's riding mommy's favorite, but favorite pony. It's mortifying when that stuff happens. I know, I, I know. found a flashlight, not a flashlight, a flashlight in you my other. flashlight? Yeah. I've never heard that term. Oh. We're educating one another. This is Dartos, Cream Master, Hold Anima, on. Animas, and Fleshlight. Never heard this. Okay. The f <laughs> All of, most, a lot of your listeners. By the know. way, listeners and watchers, <laughs> how happy are you? You tuned in to hear about pellets. The reinvention of the junk. There's, we have the beads that are also double as a Darth Vader's it's, lightsaber. Yes. That's I gotta awesome. work on that. That's not. You, I that, shot yeah, so you gotta much work on Botox that. in my lips right now. I can't like in my. You have I can't Botox even. in your lips right now? Not in my lips, but in my chin. I did something. I, I love when people like you just admit stuff. Oh, I, fuck it's, yeah. it's unbelievable. No, no, I own all. I do it. I just did it. So I'm so, and here we'll go back to our sexual talk. I'm in the dermatologist's office yeah. and I'm always very, like, I'm always like, do not make me look like Catwoman. I yeah, 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 yeah. Right? You got to watch that. And I, and you do because you get dysmorphia. The That's more right. you do, you're yep. like in it. And then I'll, I have a picture. I, I'm friends with some of these people. Yeah. I won't name them, but there's, oh no, whew, there's one actress who was like literally at the top of my list oh really now at the bottom of the list yeah i would never go near her looking like this. i get nervous it's freakish and sometimes it's death becomes her if you ever saw that movie yeah when the yes the, the lips are over by the ear yes it's terrible no no you you women start to get a little crazy you, you yeah. can't recognize yourself you forget men what you do too to look by like. the way but go ahead there's some men that do it i know well, this yeah. is hollywood California. yeah well we yeah we do live in that but you don't see a lot of not truckers in iowa I know. I say, hey, what you have done there? When people say to bubs. me, "Why do you do it?" Right? They're yeah. like, "Why do you okay, do why it?" Why do you do it? Uh, I happen to want to preserve where I'm at. Like, I don't want to look younger. Right. I don't want to just stay stay where you are. I just want right. to preserve where I'm Let at. Let me tell you the one problem with it is. Yeah. I'm literally staring at the <laughs> the area right now. What's the area? The lips. I'm looking at your lips. I'm uh, now. If no, you no. ever call it, if you told me you had a boob job, I'd be, yeah. I'd be Even, that's all I would that's do is okay. look. We're talking about it and, no, and they'll stare at it too, but it's fine. You can stare they at will, it. They will. They will. Yes. Yeah, it, it's okay. Just for a couple seconds, folks. Then let's go back to your eyes. I'm now looking no, at your eyes. I, Have you had those done too? No, <laughs> no, no. I do it I, very lightly. Are they hazel? My eyes. It yeah. depends. Yeah. You're if like I'm, me. Yeah, They're like hazel. They, 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 they just go all different they colors. Go quite green. I had someone the other day said, oh, you got blue eyes. I've yeah. never had blue eyes in my yeah. life. It, well, so you I'm have the same thing. I do. They sh they shift like as my mood. Sh <laughs> my eyes are. I know. Rings. I'm watching. It's like watching a mood ring right yeah. now. You've been through every color, <laughs> every color of, <laughs> and the M A B color chart. I'm gonna work on it. <laughs> <laughs> I I gotta finish this. So I go okay. in and he shot my and I said, listen, don't make me look crazy. And he shot up. He did. He did my neck because I don't right. want right. He's a little, but he did a little thing here. And I and I the last time I I went in I said. I can't have you shoot the bottom half of my mouth. And he said, why? And I said, because it numbs where I can't give blowjobs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> no. no it's, you're talking about a guy that's been retired. Oh, <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's it'd be I like if like I was we in the major allowed. leagues and I'm retired and you go, oh, I jacked one out of Yankee Stadium last <laughs> week. You know that would be what it's that'd be what it's like. It's a lot of jealousy in that oh. in that statement. By the okay. way, I don't really give blowjobs. Okay. But they, <laughs> just for the bit. <laughs> I, no, I literally just thought about. But like, if you did, if I did, like I was yeah. like I I felt like I couldn't open my mouth, so I was like, what if I want to give a blowjob? Like I don't like to feel like I can't do. I like something. that that was your first option. <laughs> and he it, said it, to the me. first thought. Okay. And by the way, I hate them, but it's so funny hate that them. he started. I don't really hate them, but for the audience, let them know that to turn them off to me immediately. 
I just turned them on. <laughs> Turn you off. <laughs> like, I hate them. Uh, uh, but no, it was, he, he started laughing and he goes, oh, honey. He said, like, men don't care. Like, they'll just look for another hole. And I was like, I can't believe I'm having this conversation with my dermatologist. The dermatologist said they'll look for another yeah. hole or hoe? Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Now, I can understand why. I'm going to switch gears here. Why my our mutual friend encouraged you to do comedy, a very famous comedian. I was talking to him, and then I was talking to you like a day later. I was having lunch with him, or, and I couldn't believe like how this went down, how you got into comedy. It wasn't from doing one bit of stand-up. It's yeah. someone that found you naturally funny. Uh, Jeff Garland from yeah. Jeff from... Curb Your Enthusiasm, yeah. Goldbergs, and all that. And he said to you that you should try comedy. Then I texted him this after you and I spoke, and he goes, I've never seen her perform. Yeah. So he wants, so we're both going to come see her perform. Oh, good. Yes. Good. Jeff and I, oh, two veterans of comedy. I go I back it. literally decades with that guy. And I've invited both of you because I do produce shows occasionally. We don't want to see your produced shows. We want to see you. No, I invited you to do my oh, show. We don't want to do them either. No, you don't. <laughs> in the city it's crazy I, I'm listen at a point he's where probably I, yeah. like me I'm speaking for him now yeah, he's yeah. probably like me when we go out at night right our agenda has changed I know our I agenda know. isn't we, we don't want to be seen we don't need to be seen. we need to make money no, I know, I know, I get so it. So it's at the point now where sometimes hey, come oh, but, to my show and but don't you, they give you they give you the left side of the menu. No, no, you I take, I take care of my comedian. <clears throat> I actually really try to pay. Oh, blowjobs. All right, okay, that I'll show up. Well, we know that that's not working this month. Okay, so if you're looking for oh, a you're frozen. Yeah, I'm frozen. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Just kind don't have the rejuvenations. Oh, I already had that too. <laughs> That was unintentional. That was unintentional. What, my spit take? No. <laughs> Listen, I talk about it because I didn't do it because I felt like something, like I needed to feel refreshed. Comedy? <laughs> <laughs> you know that's what we were talking about. Yeah. Well, you know. you brought it right back. Uh, well, you, you are you, a dude. You are. You got some dude. Ani Moss. You yeah, got some major yeah. Ani Moss going on you. I think it's important for women to be able. I mean, for years we've listened to men talk about women and uh -huh. their bodies mm -hmm. and that their pussies are tight and this slow and they're. This, I know I, I said another word, but they'll talk the yoni. They'll talk about this. They'll sit up yeah. on stage and talk. And 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 I think it's hilarious. We, I'm dirty minded. I always have been. I grew up with boys. Uh. That's who I hang out. I mean, that's how I grew up with boys. So I was a tomboy. So I love looking like a girl. And I, by the way, I went to etiquette class for like six years in cotillion. Like I do have it. Apparently didn't get an A. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to stab somebody in there. It was amazing. She's like, not the butter knife, darling. Not the butter knife. <laughs> You're walking around with a book on your head, balancing a book. Did you have to do that? Yeah. It, they balance the book on the head. The head. They teach you how You're to Like, eat. what am I doing this for? If, yeah. I, if I lived, like, in the jungle and I had to go to the creek and put a bucket on top of my head, that'd be good. But why are you putting a book on top I of your head? I want you to know. I what? had to put a very heavy headpiece on my head at Mardi Gras, and it didn't have any attachments. Mm -hmm. And everyone said, be careful, because if you move your head. So, yes, it paid off, because I wore it for four <laughs> hours, this big headdress. that could. It, everyone else has fell off, but not a mess, cotillion graduate. But not, yes, not etiquette cotillion graduate. I was like, wow. watch me go. What happened to the etiquette? <laughs> Is, Here's what I'll say. I don't know you that well, but it's. Uh, I it's, have if, it. If I'm listing your characteristics, if I yeah. was to tell someone, yeah. I was hanging out with J Jessica Winther the other yeah. day, and first of all, none of them who know you would go, "If you notice the etiquette." <laughs> <laughs> Here's I what, wouldn't leave with right. it or even end with it. No, on, because on this is an etiquette person. Because I'm 50 years old. Okay, and at this point, I've been a PTA president. I've been the room parent. I've fundraised. Whoa. I've done all that. Be the beautiful things you do when you're a parent, mm -hmm. and you don't have a job, so you dedicate your soul to the school and torture everyone there, and no payback. And no, no, and it's awful. But yeah, yeah really, it's like the, the most thankless job besides parenting yes. on occasion was yeah. running the PTA. But when you do that, and you and I am edgy, and I do live, I do like to say, I put myself in the box. Yeah. And I went back to etiquette class. That rejuvenated and box. That rejuvenated <laughs> box. Okay. So when I 
I came when I stopped doing that, and I had a little bit of a uh, breakthrough, which some would call a breakdown, but I mm -hmm. like to consider it a breakthrough. Sure. When I came out of that, Aram, the filters came off, and I went, "You're not going to make a difference in this world by pretending to be yeah. something that you're not." Which those mothers are, and those fathers are. Yes, make. I coach like little league, league, and it's you know it's awful. I coach little league. Yeah, I'll bet you did. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> you're one of those. I was. I didn't do it by choice. Of course you did it because it was a choice was you wanted to be with your child and support your child. My there was ex, no other coach that would step up. My No, my ex wanted our kid to play. He was yeah. super shy and he didn't want to go out there. And I was standing out. And your I, husband or the kid? Both. Okay. but right, so <laughs> the, the ex why is the was husband gone. not? Because oh, he, he was, was away he was so working. much. He was working. So right? he says, you coach. So basically my son wouldn't get out there. So then I knew nothing. Baseball. Baseball. Okay. And then I coached my daughter in soccer. I don't even watch sports. So this is somebody who got the book wow. for dummies and just started reading. You literally read the dummies book. Yes, the dummies for baseball. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. It was before we were like You're, you're like, on I, all right, kids, we're in the fourth quarter. That's <laughs> inning. <laughs> no, I would That's say. Inning. Oh, I got to look that up. That's page 32, I say. Should have seen that in my dummies way, for baseball book. Stroke up on the bat. Stroke Hit it up. hard. I mean, of course. Everything I was saying had a sexual undertone <laughs> on accident. But I would pay the kids. It's in by candy the way, it's choke money. up on the bat. Right, I would or, say or choke stroke the chicken. up. Yeah, Listen, okay. Yeah, I got you. I can only do so much. So you really made it through a whole season. They, we were underdogs, and we came in like second place. Wow. I was a great – because it's – and you know this. Yeah. Since you're the love master, and uh -huh. you talk about this. Yeah. I read people. That's what I'm good at. You're I right. read kids. It's not about getting out there going, you can do this. Yeah. Or the same old speeches and the same old – you're a loser, kicking the hell or, or the same old batting coaching, put your elbow up, son, you know, all that kind of stuff. No. No. That's funny you should say that. I was just talking about this the other day. You know, I coach. I coach people and how to alchemize yes. humor and turn it into gold in your life. It makes your life better. And a lot of guys are difficult to coach, you know, because they're I very stuck that. in their ways. Yeah. Not that women aren't. But anyway, uh, but, they, but you know what they can relate to is sports. <laughs> I want to interject. You, you, know, you know what I said to I, – so I pointed this out, and I ad-libbed it, and I thought, wow, that's true. Some of the greatest athletes, modern-day athletes – Three of the best quarterbacks that ever played the game in football. You know who they are? No. Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, and and uh, Peyton Manning. Okay. You know what they also have in common? They do funny stuff. They host Saturday Night Live. They own right. funny shows. They're on commercials. And they're really funny. Joe Montana had the one a big drive in the Super Bowl in the late 80s against the Bengals. And they're on the eight-yard line. It's a long way to go. It's the la They're losing 16-13. And you totally. know what he did to loosen them up? He saw that they were nervous. He goes, hey, look behind me. I think that's John Candy back there. And they go, yeah, it is. And they had fun. And they went on the game-winning drive, historic drive. But what laughter does, it eases tensions. It yeah. relieves stress. You, are, you become yourself. And that's what you're saying is, the hell with this phony. The hell with the pretending I'm a badass we're all not a badass. No. You know what I mean? Underneath of it all, just like the cowardly lion, I'm just a dandelion. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Help. 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 He's doing, he's doing no Star Wars like, lightsabers. And he's on. doing the lion. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. But really, I mean, it, it's such an undervalued thing. And again, I encourage the audiences who are listening to just find more joy and find more laughter. And that's what you've done. You've not only do, do that, but you've made it a, a living now. I'm making it a living. Yeah, you're making it a living. And you're doing something that was not even a dream at first. As a matter of fact, Jeff Garland asked you to do comedy just because of your personality. Because I guess he was yes. inviting you into the space of get out of the PTA. A yes. lot of that's about what you look like and image. Oh. I can't stand image conscious people. Drives me nuts. They're doing it the way they're told to do it instead of the being who they really are. Well, that's that is what ha I mean actually that's part of what made set me off into mentally cracking because I was trying to fit in the societal norms. Yeah. And I was like if I do this because my entire life you were too loud, your personality is mm. too big. Ugh, Jessica said that. Like it was to mm. the point where I if that's what they did. They sent me to schools and to they try shamed to get you and they, bully yeah. you and 
send you in a direction that you're not supposed to be. It, no. it is no place like home because you're supposed yeah. to be where your heart is. Right, yeah. You're supposed to be you. You're supposed to be authentic. This is the way we were born and then they stopped us. It, they early on, they get you. Stop doing this. Why? It's your fault. Did you ch- <laughs> Constantly putting you in this space that you just... You, how, how about religions that tell you what a sin is? I can't. They don't. judge your sins. Then they say that they can absolve you right. of the sins as long as you have the right uniform on and the right booth, and they're going to absolve you of these sins. It's the most silly thing, and it's not God, by the way. No, because we are... We are Quote, unquote, created. we are created in his image. Exactly. So everybody should be accepted. Right. Well, except for certain people. There, Some people are just bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't they, really know they why. They just went off. They, they went think, off in a different direction. I think they truly want to be loved. They truly want to love. And they were not taught. They listen to the dark side like they talk about in Star go, Wars. Yeah, they go into they the dark. They just go to the dark side. The I've seen side. it happen. It's so difficult to accept, too, when it's someone you love. I know. You just watch them go down the dark yes. side. I've had it happen, you know, in my life. And it's just, it's painful. It's painful. But then again, something else happened to me in that regard. Okay. So I was saved, basically, you know, the, the, not the way the religion and all that kind no. of stuff. But no, no. I was headed down a horrible path. I mean, just the worst. Right. And, and yeah. Like crime and crime know, jail and oh my god oh yeah this is the only way i was headed started drinking heavily at 13 and and we're you know, offended drugs. by my sex What's jokes that? What's we're it? offended by like my vibrator <laughs> shit he's like i was in what do you crime. mean we like the royal <laughs> we yes. listen cotillion we totally- i'm down with the sex jokes i have to pretend <laughs> my image has to pretend that <laughs> oh. i'm offended oh <laughs> guys we're still pretending yeah because <laughs> somebody from disney might be hiring me someday and then come That's back to true. this podcast did you hear craig schumacher he said pussy Cat. Oh, <laughs> that's cut. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I didn't say cut. Cat. Oh, What's I just cat? said cut. <laughs> just right. Cut. We could cut that. Yeah. But it, that is such a shame, going. though, that there are the people out there that they will go through your history. And if something is off from their perspective, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Their perspective. We were taught the perspective of not God, but other people. Yeah, exactly. Somehow they have more power. And the dark side, I can tell you, I'm okay, from keep the dark going. side. I want to hear your dark side. From going. the dark side. I also, so you know how you listen to the good and you listen to this the way you should do things. You also listen to the bad. Oh, you yeah. You see them getting all this attention. Oh, yeah. I remember when I was arrested. You know, I didn't have a dad. I was abandoned. And, I was like, and the cop points to the to the poster. He goes, how would you li- like to end up like one of these guys in the poster? I'm going, at least he's wanted. Oh, <laughs> that's a terrible joke, but I like it. <laughs> Sad. Should notify your face. Like, well, maybe you oh did, but the Botox God. stopped it from oh, smiling. Leave it alone. <laughs> leave it alone. Here's the That's problem. The Hold on. When you, you reveal to a comic, you're dead. Here's the deal. Yeah. I love that when everybody says that, they're like, he's like, this is a safe space. We're going to yeah. go. We're going to yeah. get enlightened. We're going to talk yeah. about it. He is that men do that all the time. You should, women, and that's the difference between us. Passive aggressive. Yes, but they, the, a woman will share her vulnerability. Yes. And because of a man's insecurity, and I know we're joking, so I'm not going to yeah. really, yeah. But, but you right. could be insecure. They'll throw it back. Yeah. They yeah. throw it back at you. Yeah. Where women will like, oh God, I feel, I understand. I mean, not all. Let's break that down. Let's break yeah, that down. Let's do it. I agree with you. Yeah. And now I'm saying from my perspective is I do have a natural instinct for callbacks. Yes. I am the king. If you ever saw my comedy act, I am the king of, of callbacks. callbacks. I bring them back. If anyone's listening or watching, a callback is something that is you know established in the beginning of your and set. You bring it in. And then you bring it back and people love it. They so love it's a, it. it's literally an instinct that I has made my career somewhat. Oh wow. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm getting better at my callbacks. Yes. And keeping the theme, throwing them in all the it's way a through. Theme. It's yeah. just like any art, any art, you yeah. have a callback. If you have another scene and it calls back the character yeah. you met in the first scene, that's what this is. Yeah. You're creating a script. So that's what happened there. No, I know. It had I nothing know to do with happened. it. Had nothing to do with, you know, like trying to attack you or something like that. But it is a teasing, though. That's the other thing: is a well, teasing of love. Yes. No. No. Especially I from knew, Philadelphia. I knew you were go. I know what you're doing. I know right? you're safe enough, so I can I'm, do yeah, this. With you you. can't. I have other women. No way. Can but I, I have wa- this but, conversation. But I wanted- we are, they would have walked. Oh, really? Literally would have walked. Well, I'm in my masculine energy. I have one yesterday. <laughs> a good friend of mine. She says, "Stop talking down to me." And oh. I, there was no way I was talking down to her. And then I find myself 
Now I am in, uh, walking on eggshells, yeah. so I am talking down because I'm trying to get out of this spiral that she has this in because she's oversensitive. I can't say that she's oversensitive, and right. that's the trap we're in. Well, and this is the man woman thing. Is it's a yes. very difficult trap I, unless you have the safety of both you and I today have already established we know, we know. we're going anywhere yeah. and it's all good and yeah. we'll be we'll be okay. Nobody will be hurt. So I I would get arrested. You know, I did have a feeling of abandonment. I was just a terrible feeling of it. abandonment. And I would commit crimes, and this is the irony, is for attention. Yes. Well, you do bad, so people so, exactly. will recognize They're you. They're giving you the attention. They say it. Lindsay Lohan did it, right? She yeah. At that one point, and everyone's like, bad press is good press. Right. Like, right. I mean, to I, me, that's I not just, true. It's not true. <clears throat> no. But so many people live in that. We, you don't even know it, right? No. You're falling apart. You're crying for help. Mm. And everyone's like, oh, bad. Oh, wow. Look at us go. No. <laughs> <laughs> but the bad press. She just is, looked at the cue card and I said did. how long we've been on. How, how quick was that, by the way? Yeah. We, we're already we're way past. Trouble. We're already way oh, past. Shit. That's Yeah, that's how much it flowed. Yeah, it would it would have flowed faster if your if your mouth could actually catch up to your words. <laughs> Look at he did it again. I'm never ever. There are people. There are women. Back. There are women out there that get, he is mean. He's cruel. No, Literally, no. and I know you're not one of them. Well, we know as as we want to talk about my Botox, we'll talk about the fact that he had to stick a little pill up his ass to make his dick feel better. Okay, <laughs> to make him feel more masculine. Did you get it straight? You're gonna offend me in my ass, oh. not up my ass. There's oh, a big difference. Wait a minute, they put it in your ass? I told you an incision. I thought, oh, it was yeah, it was a, it, it wasn't. It's not inside. an incision inside. It's an incision in the cheek. Yeah, that's. I know what you're talking about. Well, you apparently you don't. You said it was up my ass no. like a like an enema. First of all, that's my comedy. Okay? <laughs> that's how I roll. That's how I express that's myself. That's how I express it's myself. It's got to be up the ass, in Look, the ass. So it's not literal, as funny. so literal, by the way. So literal. A very literal. Yeah, yes. look at you go. But look at you go, man. Sensitive. <laughs> Sensitive. Are, do, we need to do, some, do we need to do some work in here? Like, I, I, do I need to check myself so you can feel more comfortable? <laughs> no, no. We're, we're, we're way say. good. I have not had one no. uncomfortable moment with you. No. My only uncomfortable moments would be about what they're thinking. Thinking. Oh, really? Isn't that crazy? That's when we're really good at comedies if you don't care what they think. Well, I'm getting there then. Because <laughs> I, I think you've already, I think that's why Jeff Garland advised you to get into comedy. Call back on Jeff Garland. Oh, look. <laughs> so, so <laughs> I think that that's what he that. saw in you is he saw a yeah. truth teller, he saw a, a revealer, he saw someone with no filter. Just as a person at the at, at the games, you're, would you coach his kids? Well, Did no, you? I didn't. I was the PTA for. So he knew you yeah, was the PTA. And I'd go in there and talk about what we were doing, and then crack jokes in a all the funny way. way. Yes. Yeah, so he saw that. Yeah. So I, we have to go see your comedy. How do we find you on social media? Uh, I do. I am on Facebook, and um, but I don't really do that. I'm mostly on Instagram. Yeah. I am getting better at TikTok because that's what I'm told. What, what I is have what to is do. your Instagram? The Jessica Winther. Winther. I'm, yeah. Okay. Winther, not not Winter. Yeah. She called me Schumacher the other day, and I said, uh, "Okay, Edgar Winter." Yeah, I know. Do you I know, know Edgar Winter is? By the way, yes, writer, poet, huh? poet. What? what? Poet. No. 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 That's that's Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> no. Yes, it is. Jesus Christ. I don't think Guys, Edgar Winter, who sang, who sang the song dun, 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 no. dun, Frankenstein, it's, he's a musician. Edgar, no, there's he a, had a brother named. By the way, there is winter. there's a winter winter that and, is a poet. It there, may not be Edgar, but it's a winter. It might have been Robert Frost in the no. winter. <laughs> oh God! Dude. Or Edgar Allan Poe. I want you to know it. <laughs> <laughs> Just know I was raised in Vegas, and I have a community college education, and I dropped out two years. Yeah, so there you go. You dropped after two years. That's all yeah. community college is, is two years. You didn't drop it's out at the end. No, it was a, you could go four years. You can't go four years to a community college. Oh, God, I wish I had Google right with me. I can, That's the whole point of community college. You get an associate's degree. It's for two oh, years. Well, I didn't. So you didn't even know so that. You know, I you, didn't even know that. You dropped out. I dropped out. I did. I dropped out before and left for Europe. But you became you became who you were supposed to become, and now you're becoming even more so. You're supposed to become is a is a brilliant, fun comedian that people can have a fun time with you, and that's what you want. You want to get rid of all this crap and all these things supposed to be. You're supposed to be a mother. You're supposed to be at this certain school. You're yes. supposed to act a certain way. Well, I wanted. It's funny because because of the way I was raised, I wanted to offer my kids more, right? So I wanted to give them. 
which I know you feel the same. I wanted to give them better, a better education, yeah. a better life, everything, everything that yeah. I felt like I missed. A third year in college. <laughs> past the two. I've got one that's not, yeah. <laughs> it was a callback. So it was only a minute ago. It was so good. Far. I know. It was so, good. so, yeah, that's how I raise my kids. I literally say to myself, just give them everything you longed for, which is so, isn't it crazy how at our age it's with us still? Oh, yeah. It's still, our childhood is with us. Well, we look, live it every day. Well, just now when I said to you, and I'm yeah. going to, this is going to be a vulnerable moment. Okay, great. So when I said to you, I did two years of community, which I didn't even, I mean, it's been so long, right? I didn't yeah. process. Yeah. But when you go, no, that's all you could do. That's so funny in my mind. Shame? Immediately. Yeah. Oh, you're wow. an idiot, Jessica. You're so stupid. Yeah. And those are the things which, fine, I'm stupid. I, I mean, whatever. I don't even actually care. I know I'm not stupid. but No, you're not. Those not even the, close. No, but those are the moments that I am shaking through doing comedy. Mm. Because you, I am so exposed out there. It sure is. And you, sometimes I look stupid, right? And it's okay. But who do you look stupid to? It's still those same power people that yeah. we empower well, them it would be my to dictate how voice. we feel about but it's ourselves. it's the voice, right? You know what else we empower? We empower the people that write the tests. Do you know yeah. when I was a kid, it's something, I'll share something vulnerable, and this is for people to hear right. as a source of hope. Right. So I was raised, you know, definitely just the last. I was the shortest. I was the weakest, the skinniest, the, all of the names that I was called, poorest, Lived in a kind of wealthy neighborhood, but we were dirt poor, got evicted all the time. Oh. A, yeah, it was just like, you know, eating dry beef on toast, lima beans out of a yeah. can. Just really crappy, you know, no self-esteem life. Yeah. And this is no, nothing against my mom, best she could, you know, but this is just the circumstances. But this little boy that had no dad in a house of females had just so little self-esteem. So then they'd give you tests. Right. To say... Well, you're this or you're that. Yep. You're literally excellent or you're a failure. Yes. So guess who wandered over to failure? Because it's all I knew. Right. It's all I knew at home. And I knew how to fail. And it was comfortable. This is so important even when we talk about uh, changing, when we talk about even the United States or the world, and someone will say, oh, they're, lo they're lower. Losers and lower. lower yeah. and you, and I'm Third like, world. Yeah, it's it's. They're human beings. It's, it's yes. We're it's, so arrogant in this country. By the I, way, we're so behind in so many things. It's ridiculous. It's all arrogance and blowhards yeah. and stuff like that and image conscious. This is what's wrong. We're not looking at one another as human beings no. with amazing potential. Every one of us. But and so wanting somebody to take, teach instead, we want to insult and criticize exactly. instead of going. Hey, you know what? If you don't know, let me guide, let me tell you, let Keep me you take you on the journey. Exactly. And in, and then we create, mm -hmm. now, I remember if there were years, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to veer off of this, That's okay. but there were years where I would act like I knew things mm -hmm. just so I didn't look dumb. That's why in class you don't ask questions, because remember when they shamed you if they asked yes. the wrong question? Yeah. Well, Raise I, your hand, have the wrong answer? I would just talk. Well... Because you were hiding, you were yeah. you were covering. That's yeah. what we do. We talk yeah. a lot so we can cover the vulnerability and how we're scared, we're in fear, and we're in doubt, and we don't understand ourselves. And we look at someone else and try to be like them. We try to copy them, even if the person's a criminal. Yeah. Even if they're dark, they're getting wow. Look at that. He's the most. He's the biggest badass. If I hang out with the badass, he'll protect me from other badasses. And that's it. That's how you think. Right. And you get in gangs. Because there's nothing else to do. There's no other options. That's why people join gangs. And by the way, the gangs of the Crips and all that, uh, it's no different than uh, the gang of the CIA. I mean, you know, I mean, there's no difference because no. you're in a gang, you're in a group the that has peer pressure and anything. smokes people and kills yes. people and kills, the, even if you're not killing them literally, you're killing them emotionally. So here's what happened. I got IQ tested when I was a kid. Yeah. Bad. I had bad SAT scores, bad. I paid Tommy Taylor money to take my SATs. That's how bad it was, in shame. But I wanted to be in college because something inside of me said, if you go to college, you'll get a fresh start. Well, I did. And now I spent half the time in college on the dean's list, which is crazy for a guy like me, and half the time on the list that the dean wanted to see in his office. I went both, I was, you know, both criminal yeah. and both, you know, crazy and all that but there was another part of me inside of me the potential that wanted to be revealed and this is what i encourage everyone to go with that potential it's a great light that we were born right. with by the creator it's, we were made that way right until we took the other path that they told you to take 
I, in the last few years, this is not a bragging thing. This is to give hope. I was tested as a genius two different times. It says Da Vinci, Tesla, that's who you're up there with. Yeah. And I, and I say that's the same thing for you. I've done, you, I've done. And I'll bet you're a genius. See? <laughs> and by the way, right? that's. Because you're free to take the test. so crazy mm-hmm. sometimes. I can't, I struggle with spelling. Mm-hmm. And, but it did, I was, yeah. I, 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 anyways, it was, I was off the charts and everyone was like, whoa. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, oh, wow. I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. Because you developed your creative spirit, yeah. which is the creator. You tapped into that. And that is all knowing. That yeah. is infinite. It you is. Get it? Yeah. That is divine. It is divine. If you keep tapping into that place, the yeah. world is yours. Because it's not about the tests. Because those tests are made by yeah. someone else. If I took a test in in India, I couldn't pass a single yeah. word. Does that make me an idiot? No. They would go, what is wrong with you? Look at this. You got you failed. You're in the, the lower class. <laughs> you're, you're an outcast. I'd be an outcast in India. But who am I really? By who the way, is anyone you wouldn't. Really? You wouldn't. You Why? wouldn't. Because Why? we will just follow the gurus. We'll follow some <laughs> swami. We'll be stepping. I don't know if everybody knows. We both are very spiritual that way, That's right? That's right. So we'll be, we'll be the leaders. We will be. The I would, I, there's part of me that would like to be a leader. And oh, that's what it comes naturally for you. Doesn't that's what the show, but there's another part of me. My, my dad is a cult leader and there's yes. another part of me that does not want to be that either. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure yeah. and I don't want that, but I do want to guide for the willing. You know, I also right. have fights with people that are, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm not into this. Yeah. You know, like I'm trying to guide and they're like fighting me and defending. I'm like, nah, not into this. Well, I think I could sh- be a guru that just says it and lets it it's go good, and walks yeah. away. And not get into anybody's results, which we shouldn't get in the results anyway. It's a big thing. No, it's a big deal to be able to, hey, hey, you want my advice? Yeah. Hey, do you need guidance? Right. And then it's up to people to grow. They have to want to do that. That's work. right, Jessica Winther. Yeah. What a blast. We're, we're past the time. I don't That's know all. What to say. Yeah. Uh, well, Our first date was amazing it was here. So good. It was sort of a second one because we talked on the phone yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Great connecting with you, hanging with you. Had a lot of laughs today. I understand why. Fourth callback, Jeff Garland, the great comedian, encouraged <laughs> uh, you to do comedy. I can, and how do we find you on social media? I'm on Instagram, the Jessica Winther. The Jessica Winther. All right. Well, well somebody took the, I don't know what they did. I had the best time. <laughs> this is so much <laughs> Thank fun. Thank you. So did I. Thank you. So make okay. sure you spread the word uh, about our show. It's called Enlightened Up. Everyone out there, please follow Enlightened Up podcast on Instagram and so forth. Pass the word, like us, spread, you know, do all that you need to do. I never have this down pat. Maybe I'm dumb. <laughs> Just an idiot. Doesn't matter what your IQ is. That's right. And you Doesn't get these matter. vitamins for being here, by oh, the way. High yay. S. Go to high S. That's H Y. High S vitamins.com. Get yourself some health. That's what we are about here. Okay. Anyway, hope you had a great time. And remember one thing. Oh, that's where you get an Ethan Cole candle. Oh, I did. I did get an Ethan Cole. Cole with a K and Ethan with a Y. Not in the beginning, in the middle. Anyway, they are amazing candles. They are. It smells delicious. I can't wait to burn it. Oh my God, he uses all the good stuff. I love it. A real pleasure. Just burn that thing while you're you're on top of those beads. All right. So anyway. (laughs) Don't worry. I blew blew out a couple. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, I hope you had a great time on our show. I really do enjoy when you have a good time. And write me a note and let me know that you did on how we connected. And you, you can be a guest on here sometime too. I'm going to do that, by the way. The person, gonna... that, the person that gives the most reviews, okay. the person that gives the most and the five stars and all that, they're going to be a guest sitting in your chair. Oh, you're They can do anything so in life. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But if they like this show and they connect and resonate with this show, you will be a guest. Please do that. Go back to all the podcasts and we'll see all your reviews. Yeah. And I'm going, wow, this person's really into it. I'm going to have them sit in your chair and be a guest. Oh, that's awesome. Because like I said, we are all one. You don't have to be a celebrity like Jessica Winther. You don't have to be a big comedian, you know, touring the country. I mean, really. Come on. Touring the valley. (laughs) All right. There's one saying we have on our show. This is how we close it. Okay. You all need to enlighten the fuck up, will you? See you next time. (laughs) I love this show. Everybody has a different reaction. (laughs)